Good morning, this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial, I am going to share with you about gear terminology. So, stay tuned and keep watching if you wanted to learn about gear terminology. Well, if you understand Hindi, then definitely I will create another video on the same topic but in Hindi language. Okay, that's why you also, that's why I, I want language must not be a barrier to get education. That's why I will create more and more videos in Hindi also. But this video in English language only. So, let's get started. So basically if you wanted to learn about gear terminology then what you need to understand that is some basic principle of drawing right so first of all we'll draw it let me draw it and then i will go for i mean just step by step what yeah one suggestion for you just do one thing what is that i'm sharing with you just do one thing uh take your time right now just pause this video get pen as well as copy then start drawing by yourself only as i am drawing because after completing the terminology diagram what will happen you cannot understand it properly how to draw it so from beginning start drawing with me that would be quite helpful for you believe me this is my real experience that's why i am sharing with you so first of all what you have to do you have to take your pen and or a paper then start drawing like this right and uh, definitely it will, be, it will be very helpful for you this is my own experience that's why i'm sharing with you this would be just going to help you to understand how to draw it and one more thing if you are drawing gear terminology in the examination then for that you have to practice without proper practice you cannot draw at a time so for this what you have to do you have to practice a lot little bit then only you can draw it. otherwise it will be quite difficult for you right so this is uh, <clears throat> this is about it now let's go for the diagram so here is it i hope you are drawing with me right so if you are not drawing with me then just just do what i am doing okay so let's say this is a gear and this is a gear okay little bit you know i have taken a little bit more here so this should be like this okay so this will be like this only so this is a one and this is two now what you have to do you have to just draw it like this yeah i got it here now what you have to do you have to again draw like this and again like this right so this is it now we'll go for top land again then here is the top land then here is it okay got it now what you have to do basically you need to now specify name so basically in this diagram i have taken little bit more this clearance this is known as clearance so what you have to do you should not take this much clearance okay but even then that's okay i mean i mean uh, this is this is looking like a gear okay so that's a gear terminology basically we are drawing here so let's go for it first of all we'll go the first one that is this one is known as top land this is a top land right and this one I mean, and by this uh, from here to here it is uh, you can say that bottom land we have bottom land also bottom land okay so and from here to here we can say there is this is a tooth uh, with you can we can say tooth with okay and uh, one more the most important where exactly we can uh, yeah, we can provide this one. This one is known as flank, right? Now, the below circle is known as didendum circle. Don't get confused with didendum and didendum circle. Both are different. And this one is known as addendum circle. Remember that. Now, from here to here, from here to here, it is known as D dendum and from here to here it is known as addendum what is that i am going to just share with you this one is known as this dash line or center line is known as peach circle peach circle remember that okay because peach circle is also important in uh, in gear time logic that's why i'm sharing with you and from here to here from here to here it is known as circular circular pitch 
okay this one the marker has been finished now and i have to use another one don't worry i have many marker right so now from here to here this is known as width of the face or face width so these are all terms we have in gears terminology now what is most important in this video dot well i'm going to share with you now again i am repeating i am repeating again one thing what is that let me share with you that is just don't see the diagram as i am drawing just try to do and try to draw the diagram by yourself also that would be quite uh, quite good for you remember that so yeah one thing probably i have gone here this one is known as face and uh, uh, i can say this one from here to here here to here this is known as flank yeah so now it's okay so basically what i have shared with you till now this is a terminology gear terminology right but thing is that if you are if you are uh, ready if you are ready or if you are preparing for university examination then definitely i will tell you just don't watch these videos do one thing just uh, take paper and pen then start drawing the diagram otherwise these there are many things you can make mistake while drawing directly in the examination so so what you have to do you have to practice pause this video take the diagram and just start drawing that would be quite useful for you my dear all right so let's go for other terms those are most important basically i must say that so what are about these terms okay yeah i got a space here basically so what is space basically yeah now here is space i got some space here so let me share with you some more terms i mean wh what are basically definition of definition i am not going to share with you because definition you can get from anywhere uh, but yeah if you are preparing for university examination then definition play most important role so definitely i will share with you don't worry that is important right so what is basically peach circle so if you uh, if you are if you are preparing for university examination after drawing this diagram this uh, gear terminology diagram you should write other things also just like i am sharing with you here only so what is basically peach circle that is important right so what is basically peach circle let me share with you so you know if you see the definition then it is the circumference it is the circumference of an imaginary 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 uh, uh, cylinder imaginary cylinder which which rolls without which rolls without sleeping without sleeping when in contact with another cylinder you can say that when in contact with another cylinder remember that okay so this is the definition of peach circle you can study different book also different books having different different definition but yes this is the real definition of peach circle remember that right now let's go for the another definition that is circular peach even this i mean this thing uh, this circular peach is having a formula based on that formula you can get numerical problems also so what is basically circular peach let's go for its definition first circular peach is also important in case of university examination you have to write it so definition is this it is the distance measured it is the distance d h the distance measured it is the distance measured along along the circumference circumference along the circumference of peach circle of peach circle from a of peach circle from a point on one tooth point one tooth to the corresponding point to the corresponding point corresponding point okay to the corresponding point and uh, here what we got pc is equal to pi d by t this is the formula pc is known as circular piece d is peach circle diameter peach circle diameter in short we know this as pcd 
and t is number of teeth number of teeth remember that so we got what is there two terms i have already shared with you now i will share with you two other terms those are also important in case of if you are studying year terminology and in case of course university examination those terms really those, those terms are really important remember that okay so uh, the another uh, the most important term i must say this because there are couple of times in gate yeah if you are preparing for gate also then this term from this term they have asked question two or three times according to me i have seen question two times from this topic only when i have shared with you uh, gate problems related to module okay so what is the definition of module basically if we'll see the definition then it is the ratio of piece circle diameter to the number of teeth let's write it is the it is the ratio of pitch circle diameter to the number of number of teeth number of teeth of the gear you can say that so you know this is the this is the definition of what definition of module if we so if we say mathematically what we can write basically mathematically we can write module is denoted by small m m is equal to a small d by t what is d basically p circle diameter t is number of teeth okay so in many books or many uh, many places you will see pcd pcd full form is p circle diameter so don't get confused with that now let's go for the last one because these four are most important right last one is diametral pitch diametral pitch this is denoted by pd this is denoted by pd so what is the definition of diametral pitch so you can say it is the reciprocal of module it is the reciprocal of module two, two definition you can say first it is the reciprocal of module what is the meaning of this pd is equal to 1 by m mathematically we can say mathematically we can say this mathematically we can say this right now if you go for the next definition that is it is the ratio of it is the if, if you have been watching this video with proper concentration then i must say you can easily say this it is the ratio of number of teeth to the number of teeth to the to the diameter uh, p circle diameter p circle p circle diameter so this is this is about all about this is all about gear terminology i hope you understand this about i mean you, i hope you understand gear terminology right so if you are preparing for university examination then try to draw this diagram again and again watch my videos again 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 that's why you will get uh, good knowledge about it you can write uh, write a very good way on the examination paper that's why you will get very good marks but yes if you are preparing for gate examination then remember my dear you have to remember three formulas what is the formula for module what is the formula for diametral piece what is the formula for even circular piece if you'll gone through these formulas you can do it quite easily i hope you, un I hope you understand about gear terminology thanks for watching thank you very much and if you got help from this video share this video with your friends they will also get help uh, from this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel till now subscribe it now thanks for watching bye bye